So, I'm in Comfort Cove, I believe it is, and I'm heading to Twillingate. Why am I heading to Twillingate? Well, I'm about to meet Lloyd Coburn, face to face from Newfoundland Outdoors. Uh, Lloyd and I have been chatting back and forth on Facebook uh, for quite some time and doing face messaging or whatever that's called there where you see each other and talking on the phone and stuff like that there. But today I am going to get to meet him face to face. So I couldn't come uh, this close to, to being near him without uh, swinging out there and saying hello. So that's where I'm heading right now. So, like I said, uh, today I was uh, coming out here to see Lloyd, who, uh, Lloyd Corbin, Newfoundland Outdoors, who inspired so many other Newfoundland outdoor TV shows and YouTube, uh, YouTube creators. Well, there you are, sir. Now, there I am, with all that build up. I hope I don't let you down. No, I'm out here at Tony Gate. I spend the summers there at my whole hometown where I grew up, and I take my time Look at the old uh, people that I used to know. Most were in the underground now. I'm over 90, and I'm still healthy, and I'm still on the go. And I'm, now I'm writing books about hunting rather than killing animals. I'm talking about them and bragging about them. Okay. Right now, I I just uh, got set off of Lloyd, and he's going to autograph them for me there now. Autograph set of Lloyd Colvin's books. Well, this is this book here is a bestseller. It's in a third printing. It's uh, all hunting stories, about yarns and tales. And then there's three about my life story growing up until the eight. My life for what it's worth, which takes me up to about 15 years old. And then I take on reaching beyond my grasp as I start to go through life and do things. And this is all humor and funny and stories and name and names and there's, there's not. Is all reality, and then this one right here is the third of my trilogy, my life story, which takes me up to last Wednesday, uh, uh, and uh, and this is about the Newfoundland outdoor story. Okay. Okay. So this fellow now gave me enough money for these series. I buy backy and a bottle of scotch, and maybe have uh, two piece fish and chips for being the way. <laughs> so thank you. He he's not looking to get rich on this. He just. Uh, you know, selling it to to all these fans who followed him over the years, and uh, very very much appreciative for that, Lloyd. Aye, or why? Aye, aye, yeah. yeah. Some people do. All the best. Uh, Two thousand and thirteen. 2023. That's that one. Now this one right here. My life for what it's worth. This one is in all this. The government just bought 94 copies of this and uh, put them in all the schools and all the uh, uh, Libraries in Newfoundland and school libraries, 94 copies, 94 libraries. So that that's a stand in Crown and Pound of that. But uh, I don't know why, but they thought it was worthwhile. Well, it's time that that, that gets uh, documented proper. We should all reach beyond our grass. That's what, what else is heaven for. Everybody try, reaches to, for heaven, but nobody goes there. They all go to hell. But what happens is that because they reach for heaven beyond their grasp, they became a better person if they hadn't. So they, they never get to heaven, but they were a lot better on earth for trying to, okay? <laughs> Now, those of you who know me, you know I'm going straight to heaven. I don't even have to wait at the pearly gates. I don't believe in no gates. <laughs> only, only Narm gates down there I'm usually great for. <laughs> there we go.
thing out, man. Well, thank you so much, Lloyd. It's been an honor and a pleasure to meet you, my friend. And uh, I followed you all the years when you first started to, to, to when the show ended. And I got to tell you, from being away from Newfoundland myself and in the military, it brought a lot of comfort for me to, to tune into a Newfoundland Outdoors TV program. And uh, it made me homesick, actually, what it did. I tell you. Well, anyway, you know, home to me was where I happened to be at the time, whether it was under a piece of canvas on the South Scandal River, or whether it was out in my boat, I was bored in some little cove off night island. Home was where I laid my head at the evening and had a little puff on my pipe and maybe a little nip of scotch, okay? And uh, relived the day and uh, thought how lucky I was to be in this world, not being a worm or a snail or a frog or a goat or a sheep or a horse or a cow, but being a human being, that I could communicate with other human beings, that I could do things that human beings would appreciate and spend the rest of my life just poking around. Well, I'm getting, is, is recording now? No, I don't want to record. No, I want you to record me. I've never been recorded by uh, Lloyd Colburn before. I can see myself there. Yeah, well, yeah. So I better turn it around. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, now I see it. There you go. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm sitting out there now, and so pleased that this fellow drove all the way 90 kilometers to see me from Lewisport that I could shit my pants, but I, I'm not going to because the wife would be bad at me. But anyway, it's, it's a real, real, real pleasure and a real thrill to have somebody that would go to all that trouble to see an old man, 91 years old, who's not worth a goddamn other than the fact that people think he is. Okay? <laughs> but anyway, so, so I'm just supposed to be taking this picture now, and my narration is no more than just that. Just spilling my guts, spilling everything out, Regurgitating all the things that are in my mind at the moment, which is not very much actually. <laughs> but anyway, it was nice to be eating here with him, and uh, not only that, but I'm proud of the fact that he's bought my books, and when he reads them, he'll either like them or not like them, but I hope he does like them, as most people do. But when they don't, I don't really care too much, because I didn't want anybody when I read them. I only wrote them because I was bored with, with, with COVID, and I had to do something, so I picked up my laptop and I wrote a book. Perfect. It became a bestseller, and then I Publisher made me write another one, which was part of my life story, but by the time I got it written, I was only 15 years old. He said, what are you going to do the rest of your life? I said, write two more books. <laughs> so right now I'm writing my fifth book, and people are buying them and reading them and saying they like them. So what else could I then hope for at the end of his life of people saying, read your book, Robert, not bad at all, read, write some more, can't wait, the next one comes out. So that was fine, and I'm happy with that. So it was nice talking to you, my son, and thanks for visiting me, and all the best to you. All right, thanks, Lloyd. Much appreciated, my buddy. And that's uh, Lloyd Colburn, Newfoundland Outdoors. <laughs> well, I have to admit, after watching Newfoundland Outdoors for years on years, it was a true pleasure for me to finally get to sit down and, and meet Mr. Lloyd Colburn and his lovely wife, Roxanne. I spent over an hour in their company, and I enjoyed every single minute of it. And I'm looking forward to when I can go out and see them again. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you again real soon on my next one. My next adventure will probably have me up in the Louise Hills looking for moose. Or up by the Louise Hills looking for moose. Anyways, I'm looking forward to that adventure and I hope to see you there.